Welcome back, my lovely jubblies. This is the second half. Roles are reversed. Pug using the rat helmet. I rarely see that used. It looks so disgusting, to be honest. In the first half, BL did manage to finish the whole map with 20 seconds remaining. It was a close one. So far, nobody has fallen in this. Oh, there we go. Big Dan. Straight away, sniping Mama and Scrub will team kill Snowy. Nito will get some momentum back, but will go down to Cube. Those tents are going to start burning. The left side is always the one that seems to get burnt first. Jetstream bringing down Med. <laughs> Big Dan while dancing with an enemy ends up getting shot by the heavy expo. Oh, Pug, you missed! And it will go to Jetstream, who got himself a double. Snowy will bring down Cube. But all those tents are burned. Screw up with the help of his teammate, we'll bring down Med. I'm so terrified that my mic hasn't actually worked and the footage isn't good enough to be uploaded. I am absolutely terrified. It's so scary. I don't like it. Oh, that was a silent crossbow arrow. Oh, sorry, bolt. That was a jump shot. Jesus Christ. Somebody jump scouts in CSGO, don't you? Yes. We have a bit of a pile up. Mama's gonna spear cube. Nito with a double. Just leaves a big Dan all on his own. He still brings down Nita. We'll pull out his very tiny dagger. His penis dagger. We'll fall for the faint and we'll go down to Scrub. Scrub then promptly falling back. Oh, Mama missing his target. And actually, I don't even know whether he was actually meant to aim for Q, but he got him, Pug gonna get ganked and lose his arm, we just missed Med get cut down by Jetstream, plenty of time, this map does have a considerable amount of time at the very, at the very start anyway, I don't know why I looked at Big Dan's body in that way. It was just so amazing. Focus on the arch. Arch. We see throwing axes coming out of nowhere. Oh, the man at arms rainbow snowy is definitely a seasoned man at arms. And Med will go down. Big Dan gonna snipe Nino. Oh my god. Oh, what the f. What is with the corpses today and wanting to give the enemy a trouser, a rouser? There's a time and a place for that, damn it, and it, it's not the battlefield. Looks like Pug wanted to get a torch to a tent. Not gonna happen, he is gonna go down. Big... <laughs> well, Big Dan does go down, but he does cause the enemy to TK. Well, Med, you're really out of position. He will go down to Mama. Cube trying to desperately zig and... 
<laughs> that was a brilliant shot, but it was on his own teammates. The irony. But they did to the objective. Clash do advance, and Big Dan is still causing damage with his with his bow. But we're gonna well, we're gonna see how this turns out, and then we will have a look at the scores. Big Dan's gonna fall. Okay. Let's see. Cube is MVP, and no, he is not Ice Fragger. That goes to Big Dan with his snippety snipes. And for BL, Snowy is MVP, but highest dragger will go to Nito, who has 7, 5, and 1 assist. I don't know why I read out what people's scores actually are. I mean, you've got eyes, you're, you're clearly able to read. Maybe I have a nice soothing voice. I could lull a shark to sleep. Although that would cause the shark to die. So that's not a good thing. And way golden helmet roll. Come on, roll. Roll. And back to the action. B, I'm going to push up very aggressive. Med's going to fall to Mama. Mama with a double. BL just standing right outside that spawn zone. Big Dan just have the advantage here. White Dragon's gonna bring down Snow. White Dragon with a double! Q's gonna get team killed by Big Dan's snippety snipes, and that's White Dragon with a triple. Do it for the dragons, brother. Dada Strix if QN. Med's gonna bring down Snowy. Mama's in a bad way, will get brought down by Med. That's a double for Med. Oh, Cube did not see, did not see Jetstream behind him, but Big Dan. Well, Jetstream's not going to be seeing much anymore without his head. Snowy brings down Big Dan. That's the Archer support gone. Lag. Snowy with a double. That was a weird ass lag. Was that me? My lagging. Do I even Matrix? Did White Dragon just survive a shot from the Heavy Expo? That's a man at arms killer, how the fuck is he alive? It's practically designed to one shot a man at arms anywhere. Who's he alive? I wish that ball actually could kill if it hits. I wouldn't count this as actually moving to the next objective yet, because all you have to do is literally walk, a, walk two meters. And you met the next objective. Mama with a double. Couldn't get the triple. Nito stole it. Jetstream gonna bring down White Dragon. It could be worse. He could be a cave dragon. Those fuckers are lazy. Majority of them were killed while sleeping because knights would creep up into their cave and stab them in straight in the neck. Cube gonna bring down Nito, but does end up team killing mid. Mama brings down Cube. He will fall out to Big Dan's tiny dagger. Scrub with the brandy stock now. Oh, 
Oh wow! They're just going full force through each other. Nito with a Kobe on White Dragon. Nito with a double. Seeking that triple. We'll get the triple. Seeking the quad now. Oh, the quad was stolen right from underneath his nose. Oil Puck gonna cause some damage. Hey, look at that! One shot from the heavy expo and Cube is almost dead. He has no health left. How the fuck did that other man at arms survive it? Who was it? White Dragon. How did he survive that? Only a dragon with those scales could survive that long med with the double. White Dragon will bring down Mama. And that's the next objective. Let's have a look at what he's doing. Cube is still MVP and Hoist Fragger for Clash, going 12-11 with 6 assists. He seems to be the consistent top player for Clash. I like it, it's got some consistency to it. Nito is MVP and also Heist Fragger for BL, going 16-11 with 4 assists. Well, Mama's gonna get team killed by Scrubbity Dub. Seems that almost all of Clash have been white. Let's have a look at uh, his ping. White Dragon. No, you got uh, 80 ping is high for competitive. Oh, the nice leg drag by Cube will bring down Snowy. Cube gonna fall to the spear of Mama. Mama knows best. Everything is the devil with you, Mama. How long has Big Dan been up here surviving? Nita will bring down White Dragon. His scales could not keep him alive for much longer. And Mama will stab Pug into the ground, nailing him down. And we get to see a body flop. This chieftain is very hurt. What are you looking at? How can you even see? It's covering your face. Oh, now this is new. Somebody using the old catapulty. Clash making an advance for the tower. You know what sucks about the spectate camera in chivalry? You can't go through walls with it. Pug and white dragon together. Did have momentarily control of the tower, but Pug has no stamina. He's gonna go down and it will go to Jetstream for the kill. Ten minutes to work with, the bar is barely got anything in it. Man them chieftains can take a hit. Yes, yes. I remember when this map first came out and the game, it was just so easy as Agatha because you either had to control the tower or kill the chieftains. You didn't need to do both back then. It was... Oh! <laughs> Jetstream jumped straight into that one. And Clash have made it a big... Aww. Big Dan almost made it up, and then as soon as he popped his head up, going, I've got me, I'm bit. He's dead. Go, 
Cube over dragging a bit there. Cube um, <laughs> accidentally rainbowed his teammate. And Cube will fall for the faint and go down to Mama, who has switched it up and gone night. But in that short amount of time, Clash have added a fair amount to their to the capture bar. Hop, hop away, little rat. Oh my God! <laughs> Pug getting a bolt straight in the gabba. That stab spam is OP! <laughs> Jesus Christ, this archer's just parrying everything. Couldn't parry that though. Made with a double. He's gonna go down. And he does take one with him in the form of a TK. We have this little rat. Pug desperately trying to stay alive. And oh my god, he's somehow still alive. He took down one and managed to get them to TK, but. <laughs> <laughs> that was um that was quite special. Yes, I did see that pug. Oh. Look like Clash is already up. Need to going to bring down Cube. Big Dan oh, he's not, he's not, oh never mind, Big Dan's dead. <laughs> Get shot at point blank range. Clash having just under seven and a half minutes to work with. Oh, that was nowhere near. That's a weird thing to say, Neem. Oh, Cube. Doing well. Oh, never mind. He was doing well until he team killed Void Dragon. Still is playing well, though. It's up to Big Dan to take on Snowy. Oh, he couldn't do it. Oh, the gank. Med couldn't hold on. Yeah, they are freshly respawned. But with no chieftains left, they have to go for that tower. How will they approach this? Two going left and knight on a vanguard, but where are the others going to go? Med going to try and soften them up with some projectiles first. Oh, that catapult shot could have been devastating for BL. This place is empty. <laughs> Oh, Pug! Why you have to drop? Oh! Cube, nice one! And there it is! Will it go? And that is GG! Clash do take the victory, and it was very well played and well deserved.
Let's have a look at the final scores. Cube going 24, 17 and 19 to be MVP and highest fragger. Nito going 23, 18 and 11 assists to be highest fragger and MVP for his team. That was very well played. I really enjoyed it. And it was something other than Dark Forest for once. How about that? Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like and or subscribe. It really helps the channel grow. And I'll see you all on the battlefield. Take care.